back, you guys. We are back here on Dunny B TV. I'm going to say a big shout out to everybody out there tuning in to us right here on Channel 9 TV. We got another very special guest. We got Miss Carol Brown, the former director of the Come On Community Center, live with us right now. Tell us a little bit about what's going on out here today and tell us what you think about this beautiful Come On Community Center. Well, today, after many years, we are having the grand opening of our brand new Como Community Center. We have waited at least 15, 20 years yes, to get have. this center yes, have. Uh, built. It's a beautiful center. It, it sits up on top of the hill. Yes. And like I told people today, it's a, it's a city on the hill yeah, yes, that shines is. brightly. And yes. we want to continue to shine brightly. Uh, we have a lot of people in this area, seniors and everybody, mm -hmm. that needed this. We had right. run out of room in the old center. Right. But now we have this one, and it has so many marvelous aspects in it, and we just want everybody to come out and see it and be a part of it. Let me ask you this. We know that we got the Mother's Day Banking coming up this year. What's going to be different this year, besides being in this new facility, uh, are y'all planning on having something totally different? Uh, that's gonna, uh, you gonna add something to the Mother's Day banquet? We're gonna continue with our tradition of the Mother's Day banquet. We'll uh -huh. be honoring twenty-five mothers from okay. across four world. Okay. Uh, the only good uh, new aspect will be that we have more room. Okay. So we can have more people. So yeah. So if people yeah. really want to come. It's a Saturday before Mother's Day at 12 mm -hmm. noon. Okay. And we will have plenty of room for everybody. Yes. And plenty of food, too, right? Plenty of food. Oh, Always. Y'all, that's the best thing for, for me, dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to talk to you also because, again, you've been, you guys have been waiting for a long time. And I know today's a very special day. You got a chance to, y'all seen the ripple cutting early on TV. And uh, this is going to, and if you didn't get a chance to see the ripple cutting, y'all just not tune into it. Make sure we're going to be running this all month long. This same episode going to be running all month long. But uh, was you surprised to see Best and Price come out here today? Oh, no. She was one of the people we worked with mm -hmm. um, at the very, very beginning of getting this center. Okay. We sat down and met with her and the city manager. Mm -hmm. and, and like I said, in my speech, we fought a little bit. Um, and we compromised. Right, right. Because my dream was to have a 45,000 square foot center. Okay. And so with the second edition, we'll probably be there. Okay. We're going to have a football field and a track what? and okay. a stadium stands. Wow. And then we're going to add an extra gym. Okay, so this is so this is just part one of it. Yes. Uh, of what to expect that's going to be coming soon. That's right. So, it, is this the biggest center in the city of Fort Worth? Yes, it or no? is the biggest center. Okay. With the best technology and everything in it, because it is technology everywhere. I was telling them, I'm, I'm, I'm glad uh, it's built, right? But I'm glad I'm not the one running it Woo! because too much technology <laughs> in it for me. <laughs> wow. And tell about who is the director for the Come On Community Center. The director is Clara Kirby. She okay. took over in 2015. Okay. She just happens to be my middle sister. Aww. Uh, and we, she's a beautiful person, y'all. We, all, we all were taught to give back to our communities and, okay. and to uh, do things like that. So kind of runs in the family. Wow. Well, you, you do you you and your sister do such a great job. And and believe it or not, even though she's not the director, but she continues to work here and volunteer and do a lot of work in the community. So right now, what are you doing now uh that, that since you have since you retired from the city? Well I retired in January of twenty fifteen okay. and by March of twenty fifteen I had my five oh one 3C okay. for our nonprofit, which okay. is called Como Lions Heart. And we support all the programs at the center. Mm -hmm. So we do Christmas and Easter and everything. and everything, every special event, we're there. We do things for the senior citizens. Wow. And Beautiful. one of our special programs is our uh, college kids, dorm kids. Uh, I'll tell us about Every that. one of our kids that's going off to uh, college for the first time, mm -hmm. We do their whole dormitory. Wow. We furnish it. We decorate it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we give them everything. They get right. a paper that asks for the That's list. Beautiful. And we do all that for them. Wow. Last year, we actually did 33 wow. of our kids 
Mm-hmm. From Como, who oh, went off okay. to school. Right. So then the other part is tracking them okay. to make sure they continue. So like at Christmas time, mm-hmm. we had, had them all coming in. Okay. And we gave them fifty dollar gift cards to Walmart. What kids would want that? <laughs> just keep to keep them encouraged. Right. Right. That, that's a beautiful thing. Well, I tell you what, Miss Brown, thank you so much for taking out your busy schedule talking to us here on Channel 9 TV. And again, we are here at the Como Community Center where they are making a difference in the community. And hopefully you guys will be seeing a lot more men in the Como Community Center because I'm going to still we're gonna talk about that okay. off the air. But we'll have a lot more. Anything else you want to say before we let you go to the community? I just want to say that this was a long time coming. Mm-hmm. And yes. it's the building that God built because he's the one that gave us the strength, gave me the strength yes. to keep pushing. Woo. When the doors were closed, yes. he would say, keep pushing. Woo. So and you, I and, did, and, you and did. we are now here. And today has made history in Black History Month. What a better way to make history in Black History Month. Am I right about that? Absolutely. All right, so we're going to have a lot more coming up. Coming up next, we're going to take a tour of the Como Community Center coming up right after the station break on Dunning TV on channel9tv.com.